Tell to the story of five students at Chicago's Whitney Young High School who are making Chicago proud. This after getting perfect scores on the ACT. ABC 7's Evelyn Holmes sat down with them. These are Whitney Young's Fab Five. It didn't really sink in for a while. Um, you know, it just was not something I was expecting. The five juniors got a perfect score on the ACT. It's a feat less than 1% of students nationally achieve. I really don't think you can measure an individual's intelligence based off standardization, um, but it, it is nice to have gotten the 36. The group of teens include 16-year-old Sophie Young and Dorothy Terrasoul, and 17-year-olds Jack Fetch, Jake Garenrich, and Charlie Nevin. They all say they were shocked to find now that they earned a perfect score of 36 on the exam. The average score for Whitney Young students on the test, which includes math, science, English, and writing, is a 28. It makes my junior year a little less stressful, but um, I'm still focusing on the same things coming into next year. Assistant Principal Matthew Swanson says it's not unusual to have a student at the selective enrollment high school get a perfect score. He says in 2006, Whitney Young had three students who did just that, but the school has never before had five in one year. We have some great teachers, some great students and parents that help build this community and have the students, they're working really hard. The teens are a pretty close-knit group and attribute their success to hard work, lots of studying, and a little bit of luck. But teacher Ann Michelle Boyle, who had three of the Fab Five in her AP World History class, says it's more than that. All of them are really engaged with something that they're passionate about after school. The teens are involved in extracurricular activities and all have big plans for the future, including college, possibly on the East Coast. Dorothy Terrasu says so far the whole experience has been a bit surreal. She offers this advice to anyone trying to achieve their goals while making a difference. Trust yourself. Do your best. Prepare as best as you can. And it's all going to work out. So far, it is for them. Evelyn Holmes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, the Fab Five. Bright futures for mm -hmm. all of them. Incredible.